Hello, I'm Susan Van Dyne, and I'll be teaching a class for four weeks in April called Turning the Page, about four American women poets who've each won important awards for poems that they've published in the 21st century. Ada Limon and Natasha Trethewey have each served as U.S. Poet Laureates. Kathy Song won the Yale Younger Poets Prize for her very first book. We'll read her fifth volume. Patricia Smith won a Guggenheim Fellowship and was a four-time champion of the National Poetry Slam. Contemporary poetry may have an undeserved reputation of being difficult or irrelevant, but I'd like to suggest that poetry helps me live my life. Poems give shape and meaning to lived experience and give us access to emotions and knowledge we need, but we may not be fully conscious of. Equally important, our course considers how poetry does what I call cultural work. Poems can reveal unacknowledged dimensions of our American history that have brought us to this present moment. Each week, we'll consider a handful of poems in detail. To prepare for class, I invite you to read each poem aloud. Yep, aloud, and more than once. It's as important to have a poem in your mouth and ears as it is to consider its shape on the page. The skills you need to read a poem well, you already have. A lively curiosity and willingness to engage with new material and to form new communities. Characteristics that are shared by all of the Ale participants I was taught. We'll begin with Ada Limon, who grew up in Sonoma County and now lives and writes in Lexington, Kentucky, except for this year when she's based in Washington, D.C. as the current Poet Laureate. She reminds us that to find joy, we must move often through grief and sorrow. And Limon also believes in the power of poetry for writers and readers to reclaim our humanity. Natasha Trethewey inherits an uneasy racial legacy. Her parents, her white father and her black mother, married in Ohio because theirs was an illegal union in Mississippi in 1965. In her book, Native Guard, which won the Pulitzer Prize in 2007, Trethewey remembers the free black regiment that enlisted in the Union Army during the Civil War. Like this forgotten regiment, Trethewey considers herself a native guardian of a particular mixed race history that the South would rather ignore. Kathy Song continues to draw on her Korean ancestry in cloud moving hands. We'll focus on a series of very moving elegies to her mother. For Song, witnessing her mother's death is not an ex a single event, but an extended meditation on mothers and daughters. Patricia Smith's Unshuttered, published just last year in 2023, pairs photos with poems. Her poems create voices for African-American subjects who posed for these rare studio portraits in the 19th century. Smith says, I couldn't help imagining these subjects breathing, sweating, loving, and grieving through the time they lived in. And Smith believes their lives are inextricably linked to ours. So I hope you'll join me for four Mondays in April to explore these four poets who each have something personal to say to us.